everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here and for taking your time out to watch this video so today we're going to be doing a pick a card on the new moon in Scorpio and I'm so excited because it is now Scorpio season and I'm a Scorpio and my birthday is on Halloween so I'm absolutely buzzing for this so let's get started see what you've got going on for you uh, in the Scorpio season Scorpio new moon so we have number one with the selenite number two with the aragonite number three with the opalite and number four with the rose quartz i didn't realize that all those were ites but anyway so yeah please take uh, 10 seconds out to breathe and relax and to choose your group okay so first of all we're just going to clear the energy and then we're just going to get started beautiful sorry if that deafened anyone i'll turn it down when i'm editing so let's get started with group number one with the selenite hello group number one so for your group you chose selenite selenite is normally about kind of cleansing clearing feeling really clean um, just like your energy feeling really clean. Also, if you could see my candle, I hope don't think you can, but there's like a tiny little bug and I feel really bad for him, but he's kind of like, I think he fell in there yesterday or the day before and I just noticed. So hopefully you can't see that. Um, poor little guy. So um, yeah, so this is about uh, connecting with spirits as well. I always use my selenite tower um, to connect with my spirit guys and it's been helping me a lot since I bought it. So um yeah so this is a really good crystal for that so i can probably guarantee that a lot of the cards here will be about spirit connecting healing cleansing all that jazz so we have the overall energy it's time to take action oh my god that's amazing that's so good okay we also have action <laughs> oh my god right so you guys are really channeling some aries energy this this new moon oh my god okay so we also have <clears throat> eight of cups okay so i do feel like you'll be taking action on leaving a situation um it's time to take action on something you've been possibly putting off or something that you need to kind of um like break through i'm getting like clearing through it you know when it's like you possibly say if you're running and there's like a someone has just put their foot on the accelerator and a massive like fog of like exhaust is like kind of it kind of come out and you have to run for it it's almost like i'm getting like that you have to almost run through the fog to get to the clearing um so i do feel like whatever you need to take action on or whatever possibly you're putting off or what you need to do i feel like it's really coming into fruition now and it's like you need to kind of like uh they're they're, they're putting you up on that they're like come on listen to my <laughs> listen to your guides so we also have fluorite and lepidolite and we also have larimar uh, we have fluorite with the spirit guides, lepidolite with trust, and larimar with the water and the ocean. We then have charoite with spiritual protection. Creativity, number three. The energy is gaining momentum. We then have letting go. Positive expectation. Dreams coming true. Look inside yourself. Rise above problems, make, make music and body movement. I'm going to say make magic. Right, so I know we have a lot of fairy cards. They're kind of taking over the reading, but we're going to start off with these cards and then we'll move them away so you guys can see the rest of the reading. So in terms of these cards here with the fairy card, essentially what I just said is to rise above problems. Whatever you need to do, you need to kind of release whatever is going on. You need to walk away from this situation and kind of use your ability to push yourself forward and sometimes you don't want to do it i can feel the resistance and uh, you don't want to do that and maybe you don't know what to do so maybe look inside yourself and um move your body as well and that will help your body to relax and to um, get things shifted even if you possibly things are shifting in the physical which i do think they are going to actually um music is going to be really really important to you and i'm getting with make music i'm getting sing your own song so don't follow the crowd don't um don't compare yourself to anyone and don't actually say to anyone like oh i'm so jealous or blah, blah blah like i mean obviously it's a compliment but i think it's more about you 
being appreciative and saying oh, I'm really like proud of you or I'm really happy for you instead of being like oh, I'm so jealous of you you know um it's kind of like the way you say um the your words are gonna be very very important uh with this new moon <clears throat> like detail it's all in the details and there's definitely an element of letting go and once you do let go there's going to be a lot of positive expectations and there's going to be as I say there's going to be a clearing so there's going to be like a gate opening and there's going to be like a new set of movement coming in that you probably wouldn't have allowed before because of what's kind of was in the way and it also got rise above problems with dreams coming true so once you have ro risen sorry rose risen above this issue or issues or situation um or move through it it's like your dreams are going to be coming true and i think you're going to be feeling a lot more creative okay um yeah we've got letting go and rise above problems and looking inside yourself it's all about getting really deep with this scorpio new moon which is a given and it's just basically kind of channeling that energy, okay? So I'm just going to put these cards over here. Right, so we have Fluorite, Lepidolite, and Laramar. I was going to put those over there. Okay, so in terms of your spirit guides being around you, um, they're telling you to trust in this situation, okay? Um, you may not know which action to take if you don't know what the heck I'm talking about. If you're like, Vicky, I don't have anything I need to take action on. Then this part of the reading is definitely for you of what i'm just about to say is that they want you to just trust in what's kind of coming okay you know and then and if you don't feel like there's any action you need to take then don't take it you know don't rush the process just let things move through naturally and then it, it will happen perfectly it says now is the perfect time to act take inspired action towards your dreams move forward with confidence so if you don't have to take any action, it's literally just moving forward with confidence, like knowing that things are going to be okay, like to trust that the universe knows what it's doing for you and it knows the right path for you, okay? So if you ever feel like you're not on the right path, you are on the right path. And I feel like for a lot of you that has actually clicked in into gear to something when I said that. I feel like I feel a lot of you needed to hear that. Um, trusting the pathway I'm getting, because I feel like this little guy is on like a path and he's kind of he knows where he's going and he knows that what he's left behind is good because it's like I made the right decision you know and there's no sadness here I feel like it's actually like a, I feel like it's more accomplishment um and feeling accomplished like that you've moved away from the situation okay so the fact that you're going to be taking action or you're going to be moving away from a certain situation the energy is gaining momentum here so whatever you're doing you're doing it right and you are watched over as you do this okay um, creativity is going to really serve you through this energy um, kind of it being expressive and opening yourself up to expressing your yourself in a different way possibly than what you've already done is going to really help you getting out getting out in nature um, I'm getting earning money and money is really important for this group I'm not sure why um, I'm getting like abundance so a lot of you could be getting new abundance in terms of money and for a lot of you I feel like you are deciding to get a job that's more that, that you get more money out of that, that's more highly high paid um and you're getting more and getting like you're getting more juice out of what you're kind of um going towards so it's almost like i'm getting like an orange and it's being squeezed and all the all the juice is coming out and you're using that to be like healthy and stuff because obviously oranges are very healthy so i do sense that it's like you're trying to get ever you're going to get a job that's going to have everything in it and you're going to take all of it for yourself it's, it's like in a job you are in now or what you a job you were in before was very kind of like possibly very draining very boring very like suck the life out of you but this job that you're going towards is going to be so like fulfilling for you it's going to feel much more clearer and therefore your energy is going to be much more clearer and therefore you're going to get much more abundance because you because you're opening yourself up more not since you weren't opening yourself up before but it's like there's going to be an opening and because you're taking the action to go towards it it's like it's inevitable that things are going to change and things are going to move okay so that is your reading um i hope you're looking forward to this new moon as much as i am and i hope you like this video if you did please subscribe if you would like to please comment down below like if it's resonated if it didn't and just let it fly or you can choose another group also i do private readings so if you'd like a private reading all my options that i offer for my readings are down below 
and yeah i'm putting my hand behind my head to feel supported like to support my head so i'm wondering if you guys are going to have a baby where you're going to like support their head so maybe some of you are having kids or you're supporting somebody or you're just you're being supported okay so the chains are being lifted the padlocks being unlocked everything's out there okay that's what i'm saying so thank you so much guys and i'll speak to you very soon bye Hello group number two, thank you so much for clicking on this video. So we have the Aragonite. So for you guys, I think you're gonna have the most intense shift. Not to say that the other groups weren't intense, but I feel like for you guys, you're gonna have a lot of different elements to this, this group. So let's see what's gonna kinda of go on there. Cause Aragonite is like really good at shifting things. Like whenever I touch it, I feel really kind of powerful and really dominant. So I definitely feel like there's gonna be a lot of kind of big, heavy shifts moving but the heaviness is like it's going to be a big clump moving which is really good okay so we have luck is on your side with the new moon in Sagittarius it says and then we also have you're very close to achieving your goal prosperity lies ahead yep definitely they're all pretty much the same card and then we also have meditate and contemplate okay right let me move those up a little bit okay we also have teaching and learning compassion partnership and nature we also have emerald uh ceremonies and celebrations fuchsite healing heart chakra then have a stand your ground awakening your true self new location creative expression self-reliance and the two of swords so i am going to obviously read the cards at the top and then i'm going to clear them so you guys can see the cards underneath so um with in terms of self-reliance and i thought i've pulled self-reliance out as well as the two of swords i do sense that this is this new moon is helping you to learn how to be completely and whole yourself okay this group is very very powerful and i'm sensing that definitely from the aragonite but i knew you guys would have literally all the compartments you know that's what they're telling me they're telling me you've got the jacket with all the pockets you've got the dress with pockets you know like dresses don't normally have pockets this dress that you're wearing does have pockets so it's like you've got all the compartments and you're prepped and ready to go okay so what's going on is that you are pretty much trying to decide which way you want to go so for this group i feel like you may be feeling stuck and you're having to rely heavily on yourself because people are pretty much falling away or they're basically they're just not coming up to the plate anymore or at all so basically for you guys i can see money i can see love and i can see like a a new location okay this can be in the workplace, this can be in mentally, this can be literally moving house. Um, and I see that because you are awakening your true self and you're standing your ground and you're also meditating or need to meditate and contemplate, that there's going to be a new opportunity coming towards you and it's going to be like you're, you've... Yeah, I'm getting like almost like an advent calendar as well. And I used to have an advent calendar with lots of pockets and it has like from December 1st to December 24th. And used to have lots of chocolates like put in all the pockets so if i can i'm just getting this image of this coat or this like advent calendar with all these pockets and every single pocket is being filled so if you've got any like hole if you feel like you've got a hole in your life where there's something that needs to be filled with it it will be filled okay so it can be a relationship love friendship happiness harmony um abundance love um already said love <laughs> money you know all of that I think this group is pretty much going to have the whole package, okay? Which is perfect. So, basically you're having to rely on yourself and it's actually helping you to... It's actually teaching you and, and helping you learn how to rely on yourself, okay? And it's helping you to stand your ground where you probably wouldn't normally stand your ground, okay? And this new location I definitely feel like is to do with home. So you could be changing up your home, you could be switching something up. This could mean that you're moving somewhere or someone's moving to you. Um, I'm seeing that you possibly could be moving to a country, a new country where there's like a whole new different weather system basically, which is basically like possibly you're used to like a really cold country and then you move to a really hot country. It just feels like you always wanted to go there and you're going to go there. 
So I do sense it's going to be for you guys. You could be a Scorpio or I can't remember what's after Scorpio, but yeah, uh, Scorpio or you could be a Scorpio or what is after Scorpio? Is it Sag? I think it's Sag. Scorpio. Oh, yeah, we've got Sagittarius there. Oh, duh. Okay. Um, <laughs> get your head screwed on, Vicky. So if it is Sag, I do sense you're possibly going to have a birthday soon. Uh, if you're a Scorpio or Sagittarius, I have a birthday to you. My birthday's on Halloween, so I'm like, I'm very excited. Um, so you could actually meet somebody on your birthday. You could meet somebody with your um, a wedding, a graduation or anniversary, or you could be having one of those celebrations. You could be going to somebody's birthday as well and just celebrating something. It could just be just being very har ha Harry, Harry Potter. Uh <laughs> okay this is a weird reading <laughs> it suddenly had a very interesting turn um yeah you're healing your heart chakra and i feel like because these two are green i'm really connecting all of these three so like nature's gonna be very good for your heart and also you're possibly gonna meet someone in nature who's gonna be really loving and because you have nature and partnership together it definitely feels like you both will love nature okay if you are single or if you are partnered i do sense i do sense you kind of walking in nature walking um and meeting people or going on like a group walk i do see that possibly going on a group walk would be quite good for you um they're telling me just go out in the rain like a lot of people don't like going out in the rain they're normally like scared of the rain like, oh i don't know i don't want to go out in the rain um but like they're just telling me to like go out in the rain like feel the rain on your face um what's that song oh the song that goes feel the rain on your skin no one else can feel it for you. <laughs> you can let it in. Yeah, so <laughs> that's the song. I don't know what song is that. Um, I don't know what song it is, but if I find it, I'm gonna I'll put it in the description. Um, and yeah, I feel like you're gonna have a lot of compassion for yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and others. Partnership says teamwork will give you a better result. Find trustworthy people to partnership to partner with. Build up a talented support team. Ground yourself. Find a sanctuary in nature. Co connect with the elementals. So those are very, very important to you. And also, the nature is going to help you teach. Your place key, there's so much teaching and learning in literally every aspect. And I feel like it's how you approach your partnerships as well and your friendships. Because whereas passion, compassion and partnership are pretty much the same. And then we've got the green of like meditate and contemplate in nature. It's like everything is just coming together for you, I feel like. And you may not feel it, but it is coming um and i feel like for a lot of you you're um for those who are of age i feel like your sex life could have been quite dry and kind of like stagnant and i feel like that's going to kind of be much more like you're going to be much more approachable not to say you weren't before but it's like more people going to notice you and therefore you're going to have more like people to kind of interact with do things with be intimate with you know or just have dates and a partnership possibly for you guys you could be meeting a partnership on your birthday who knows that would be great wouldn't it that would be nice <laughs> okay so um the luck is on your side you're very close to achieving your goal prosperity lies ahead and meditate and contemplate so there is definitely a sense of you are going towards something that you wanted and you're going to get it okay money is very 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 prominent in this reading and meditating and contemplating if you're not sure where you want to go meditate and contemplate on it there's no rush there's literally no rush whatsoever because if you're stagnant there's literally no rush for anything to move in because basically if you're stagnant that is the time for you to relax and i, I know how annoying that is but if you ever get a burst of energy use that to your advantage like i've been feeling extremely tired and now today i just felt like doing a, a really long reading for youtube so i just want to kind of do everything today while i've got the energy so really kind of utilize um the energy that comes in and if you get a lot of intense energy and you don't want to let it move through just really try and be with it and um say to yourself i acknowledge um i sorry i release this emotions that are no longer mine and no longer serve me and just let them go and open your hands up and just let the energy fly out your hands because you want to make sure that you're in the flow and you're letting things go you know okay <laughs> so thank you so much for watching guys if you like this reading don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and comment down below and subscribe if you would like to also i'm doing private readings all my information is down below in the description box i have all my information listed so you can see what reading you would like and then let me know your option or you can just message me on email or uh, instagram message and yeah i'll speak to you very soon much love bye 
Hello group number three, thank you so much for being here. We have the gorgeous Opalite, one of my fave crystals. I love, love, love it. I'm gonna show you why I love this crystal so much if you haven't seen what this one looks like already. Um, it is iridescent. Look how stunning that is. Oh my lord, it is beautiful. <clears throat> you can kind of understand what crystals I like now. Like I've got glittery ones, I've got pyrite, I've got my little Opalite, Yas, and my Aura Quartz. They're all my, oh, they're all my friggin' favorites. I freaking love them. So, <clears throat> anyways, let's see what you got in the new mini Scorpio. We have, oh, I like this one. The answers you need are coming. Uh, we also have your dreams need a practical plan. And then we also have work through your fears. Wow. So for you guys, you've got quite an intense group, which is good. That's what we like to see. So we've got breaking free, higher consciousness and quiet time. We then have the overall energy, Ace of Wands, stunning, gorgeous, love that. We then have moderation, oops, passion, support, awareness, trust, and imagination. We then have um, answered prayers and, oh, Rose Quartz, love, heart, chakra, yes. That is what I want to see, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So excited. Okay. Right. So for this group, wow, you have a lot of information. Let me just kind of breathe this all in. Okay. 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 Right. Right. So what is going on is a new reality is coming in. So what's happening is if you're feeling very, like I'm getting the word conjured up. So if everything is being mixed up, if people are leaving your life, if things are being broken down, destroyed, ripped apart from your life that is actually really fucking good <laughs> okay because you are working through your fears okay so i need to move i was like <laughs> um you're working through your fears so this is my gorgeous new moon in scorpio card i love this card i love me some scorpio energy um and this is basically you releasing all of those crappy nasty people all those crappy nasty emotions that you don't want anymore and they're going okay not to say they weren't important but they are going, okay? So basically, they said to put the Ace of Wands right in the middle because that's your overall energy, but this is connected to your dreams need a practical plan. So for some of you, I feel like for some of you, you're quite feeling a little bit wishy-washy. So you're not sure where you're going, you're in contemplation mode, you're like, I don't know what to do, you're kind of contemplating, right? But you have the option to go forward, but maybe possibly not yet, okay? But the option is gonna be given to you whether yeah, it's at the right timing, okay? I definitely feel like for some of you, you're really going to be given the chance to love, okay? You're going to give you the chance to not be single anymore, pretty much. That's very blunt, but that's what they're telling me. Um, yeah, it's like you're going to be given love fully. So basically, you're going to be also possibly moving to somewhere that you love a lot as well. And in moderation... It's really, really easy for you to slip back into past patterns. So what you need to do is be very conscious about the elements changing in your life and why they're changing because you are letting go of old things that you don't need anymore, whatever that is. And you're becoming very aware of that. So really try and be separate from those emotions because obviously you want to feel into them, but don't go too much into them where you're almost being suffocated, okay? So be careful um in terms of your own emotions like I'll say be careful that's not the right way of saying it like um give yourself time okay and look after yourself support yourself and trust that things are going to work out and have quiet time you know meditate um just relax watch something fun you know all that jazz okay and the answers you need are coming with the full moon in Gemini we have possibly uh, connected with a Gemini Scorpio or Taurus um or it basically means that you are a Taurus, Scorpio, or Gemini. Or you're basically having some communication coming in, okay? This could be somebody from a distant land. So that means basically from a different country. Um, I'm getting somebody who you never, ever, 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 ever thought that you would meet in your entire life. And I've got a massive deja vu here then. So, um, yeah, basically. And you're going to be breaking free from old patterns. So um, the guides, your guides are really coming forward and... If you feel like you're feeling a bit lost, don't worry, this is coming, okay? And in love, definitely. You want to be loving yourself more. Your love life is going to improve, whether you're single or in a relationship. 
and I'm seeing like the mess is being tidied up. I'm getting like Mary Poppins vibes where she's like a spoonful of sugar and then she's like tidying the room. I don't know if that's the, is that the right song that goes with that scene? I don't know, but she's basically like tidying up her shit <laughs> and you're doing the same. And we also have answered prayers. All your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support, which is literally this Ace of Wands and this Rose Quartz Love as well, which is, oh my God, I love this combination. It's so good. Um, okay. So also this crystal is my happiness crystal. And I definitely feel like this is like the happiness reading. Okay. Obviously I do feel like all my readings are happy in terms of the groups that I've done today. Um, but this is like, more towards love and love for yourself um you're going to have more awareness of the moment as well and if you're feeling like you're getting taken away by life then just kind of try and sit with it okay try and relax meditate be in nature be present all that jazz and um envision a new reality give yourself permission to dream and believe in unlimited possibilities and sometimes i know it's hard but you know you can do it guys and we have moderation so make sure you're not overeating over drinking going back into past patterns but obviously if it does get a little bit hard don't forget to support yourself and sometimes you need to have that you know bit of meat that you don't normally eat or a bit of alcohol or some sugar you know don't feel bad about it but what is happening is your heart chakra this is what this is showing me is your heart chakra the aura around your heart chakra is really expanding so what's happening is actually that love is being spread throughout your whole body which normally it is but for this reason they're just telling me that it's being concentrated mainly around your heart so if you've been having issues with heart love um career um connecting with who you are this is really kind of being brought up now and for me i'm just gonna say this very openly um scorpios are very intense and i am a very intense person and recently i've been wondering why am i not feeling so intense it feels really strange but what i think is happening is actually it's opened a lot of my heart chakra and it's opened it's opened and cleared a lot of my old past and actually this new self of me is actually it's really good but i'm having to get used to it you know it's, it's different so you may feel like there's something there's part of you that's needing to be adjusted into the new reality sorry guys my i was cut off because my doorbell just went but i think we're pretty much there so um yeah you're gonna have a lot of drive to go forward and make sure you focus on what really excites you and what really lights you up and make sure you go towards what you really love um and trust in the process okay and live in the moment basically as much as you can so much love to you guys if you'd like to please subscribe to my channel like uh give it a big old thumbs up and comment down below if it resonated if it resonate and that's totally fine you can choose another group or you know that's fine let it fly um sorry i just ran up the stairs and i'm really out of breath <laughs> um also if you'd like to get a private reading with me all my information is down below and i have all my options listed and you can choose an option or you can just email me or instagram message me and we can sort out a reading for you so thank you so much and i'll speak to you very soon bye hello group number four thank you so much for clicking on this video and let's clicking click, click, click. <laughs> hello group number four let's get started with your reading let's see what's coming for you with this new moon in scorpio also if you can see this little bug here i'm sorry he fell into my candle the other day and um he's kind of setting my wax now so hopefully uh he yeah he's dead <laughs> he did but yeah i don't know what happened there so if you can see a dead bug i'm sorry <laughs> so we have adjustments are required you guys have a quite a big group so i'm just gonna lay out all the cards and then we'll kind of go for each layer we have adjustments are required conclusions are within reach you and your loved ones are safe we then have physical activity cycles dance possibility and we also have balance beautiful okay we also have make time for self-care laughter detoxification environmental awareness seraphonite blue lace agate honesty communication nature ancestors and family okay and then from the tarot we have the temperance and we have the full is this in reverse 
Yes, okay, so the main elements for you guys right now is to get balanced, okay, because you've got a new start coming, so basically you need to prep yourself. <laughs> you need to prep yourself and get yourself ready for this. Um, if there's anybody you need to communicate with, do that now, okay? This is a definite sign for you to communicate now. Tell them how you feel, um, do it, okay? If this is a crush, if this is a friend, if this is a family member, if this is an asshole who's been really horrible to you, stand your ground and say, hey, you're an asshole, go away. <laughs> Maybe say it a bit nicer, but you know, whatever you feel you need to do, get grounded and get talking, okay? Honesty is really, really important for you right now. Um, I'm not sure why, they're not really showing me why. They're not gonna tell me for some reason. It's a secret, don't know why, okay, fair enough. So maybe you need to be honest with yourself, okay? Um, and communicate how you really feel. I feel like there's something that needs to be off your chest, okay? Um, there's a clearing around your heart that's to do with your family. So if there's anything you need to say to your family, definitely do that. Um, nature is gonna be really, really important for you. So make sure to get out in nature. And your ancestors are really coming forward for you. I feel like for some of you, you may be getting pregnant. You, you're, for you guys who are going to get pregnant, it's not gonna be like, you know, it's gonna be planned, okay? Let's just say that. So you wanna know that you're gonna be getting pregnant. It's not gonna be like, oh my God, wow, a baby. Like, <laughs> no, you are like popping babies out like no tomorrow, like no, this baby's gonna be planned, okay? Um, could even be a baby, a cancer baby as well. Um, obviously the cancer, obviously, yeah, by the time, would that work? Would that make sense? And I'm not sure. Or maybe you're a cancer. I don't know, maybe a cancer baby. I don't know, it depends when you get pregnant. So, yeah, so basically your family's going to expand and therefore your ancestors are going to be coming in and supporting you through this pregnancy and through your rebirth as well. So, let's have a look at these cards. So we have make time for self-care, laughter, detoxification, and environmental awareness. Environmental awareness is basically what's kind of going on around you in your environment, in your house, at work, um, when you're who you're spending time with. Um, make sure that you have quite a few I feel like a lot of you crystals are very important for this group so the crystals that I pulled were pipestone or catlinite iolite malachite seraphonite and blue lace agate so if any of those resonate with you possibly get one of those for any of the cards that I kind of pulled so if you're having issues with any of these things oh we have also rose quartz so that's also good for you as well in terms of love compassion things like that so we have ancestors for pipestone or catlinite Iolite is for family. Malachite is for nature. Uh, seraphonite is for honesty. And, and your heart chakra and third eye. And blue lace, okay, it's for communication. So if any of those uh, resonate with you, then please go get those. I'm also getting a black crystal. So maybe um, something like this uh, tourmaline. I think this is tourmaline. Uh, or possibly black onyx or something like that. If it wants to focus this gorgeous black crystal here okay or maybe jet i'm not sure i think yeah i don't know <laughs> i'm thinking about these things but you just don't know sometimes do you so what's what they really want you to do is to dance move laugh um anything that gets your body moving and shifting is really really important for this group because it's going to help you release uh, toxins as well from your body and therefore you're going to have um it's going to be giving you self-care so basically there's a cycle that's kind of happening and you need to balance yourself out in terms of your emotions, um, your physical activities. So you may start to um, exercise more. You may be already doing any, all of these things, any and all of these things. For some of you, I feel like singing is very important and music, like using your voice. Don't know, it could be public speaking, could be dramatic readings of poems. I don't know, you know, I feel like it could be even dramatic readings of lyrics, whatever is good for you. I feel like some of you guys, you have YouTube channels as well. Um, and you possibly do uh, what I do as well, and you do card readings. So I do sense that a lot of you, that's just going to be really important is to just get your message out. And even if it's like not public, journaling is really good as well. It's almost like just get the words out. That's what needs to happen. Like that's extremely important for this group. They're just really kind of like focusing directly on that. They're like, they're telling me if you can, if I can pinpoint a place where they want you to focus on, it's your throat chakra, 110%. Okay. So definitely with these cycles they are quite intense so what's really important as i said is to dance move shake it out shake it out shake it shake it shake it um with this possibility it says raise your standards elevate your expectation you have unlimited potential so don't say yourself short okay um if you're feeling a little bit unsafe don't worry you are safe and the universe is looking after you 
you are being watched over uh, with your guides and spirit guides and angels um i feel like for some of you you have a stalker as well like i know you whoever i'm talking to you know who this is like i feel like you actually may okay i don't want to scare you guys but i feel like one of you actually needs to take a restraining order out or is currently taking a restraining order out and this may be you clearing this old toxic person out of your life i'm just getting this man and he's staring right really like through the window okay not literally through the window um but through a window okay and i'm seeing it like really clearly so i'm always getting the song i'll be watching you so this is literally for people who know what i'm talking about if you don't want to talk about it this doesn't resonate for you okay i'm not i'm not here to scare you guys um it's just the intensity i'm feeling of him so if any of you guys are currently like filing a restraining order or something over somebody um that is literally that's just for you okay that's just clarification that it's moving through and conclusions are within reach with this situation and just generally any situation you have right now um in terms of conclusions that you need to kind of get closure they are coming to a close okay adjustments are required with your cycle it may be to do with your monthly cycle for all my women out there um and it can also be to do with waiting for the right time to pounce or to, to go forward okay and tuning to the moon's magic is um, I don't normally do this, but affirmations are good for the time of the moon. So new moons and uh, full moon. New, I think new moons are the best time for affirmations, actually. Um, so I feel like for you guys, that's going to be really important. And I'm getting the affirmation, I am. I don't know why I'm getting I am. I think it's just quite important. For some reason, it's, it's making you feel more worthy. Um, I've got I am responsible. I am worthy. I am co communicative. I'm good. I'm good at communication. I'm honest, I'm strong, I'm powerful, I'm a leader, okay, so I'm getting all those, quite a strong Aries energy, so if any of you have Aries in your chart quite prominently, that is for you, and then I'm also going to just clear the energy, for some reason I'm getting drawn to do that, so bear with me a second, I'm just going to do it one more time, cool, oh, then we'll just do one more, okay, okay cool so that is your reading guys if it resonated please give it a big old thumbs up comment down below and if you'd like to please subscribe to my channel if it didn't resonate let it fly or you can choose another group if you'd like to get a private reading all my information is down below and yeah i'll speak to you very soon much love bye